Good afternoon. <coughs> Here's to the Professor Darcy Bilkin during the Decatur <coughs> Lecture Theatre. <coughs> and this morning I'll be going over the nervous system, which includes the central nervous system, which includes the brain and the spinal cord. We're going through the uh, autonomic uh, nervous system which will be both uh, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system, and the peripheral nervous system, which include all the nerves of the body. Uh, it's very, uh, not too vivid here, uh, in this diagram, but here we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and four, nine diagrams here uh, representing the nervous system. And first we have the central nervous system, which includes the brain and the spinal cord. The brain here represented by and the spinal cord. And uh, the peripheral nervous system, which includes all the nerves of the body. And over here we have an expanded view of some of the components of the uh, nervous system. This is the lungs, and this is the stomach, and this is the large intestine, the kidneys, rather this is the kidney, the stomach, and the large intestine. And it said, you know, the power sympathetic nervous system connects to the central nervous system, to the organs, limbs, and skin. And over here we have that the power sympathetic nervous system, we just in short call it the PNS, carries sensory and motor information to and from the central nervous system. And over here we have uh, a representation of the brain. And we see now that the parasympathetic nervous system allows the brain and spinal cord to receive and send information to other areas of the body. Now here we have uh, the autonomic uh, nervous system and the sympathetic uh, version of the autonomic uh, uh, nervous system. And this is a diagram using here the brain and the spinal cord. And here we have salivation by the mouth. And here have the pupil constrict. parasympathetic nervous system, salivation by the mouth, and here we have uh, the, uh, the lungs, the ear we constrict, and here we have uh, the heart, the heart rate is slow, and here we have the stomach, or stomach digestion. And in the same autonomic nervous system of the uh, parasympathetic division, we have here the large intestine di uh, for digestion, and the bladder restrict, and here we are. kidney restrict. So notice for the parasympathetic we just have restriction and salivation and constriction. Uh, the opposite will happen in the autonomic nervous system for the sympathetic division and what we have here would have been this is the brain and this is the spinal cord and we have the heart This is the airway dilation, so you have constriction in the parasympathetic, and we have the opposite, which is dilation in the sympathetic. And here we have the large intestine, and here we have digestion, and we have the opposite here, inhibition of digestion. 
uh, well, in the mission of the, uh, in, in this uh, stomach, an art on the art for the heart of fear was uh, art means slow, so it's going to be the opposite here. The art beat will uh, accelerate, and here we. Here we had the earway being constrict, and here we have the earway being dilated. Likewise, we have parts here for the, the kidney, and the bladder relaxes in the sympathetic, and what is up with iron decrease blood flow. And this one is the kidney and the adrenaline. So you have the autonomic parasympathetic and the autonomic sympathetic. This is a diagram of the motor neurons uh, showing the dendrite, the cell body, the axon, the myelin sheath, the, the node of Ranvier, and so on. The axon here and the synapse. Finally, we have a large diagram over here with the cranial nerve, the vagus nerve, the, 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 the uh, subcostal, the, the, the neuro hypogastric, the genitofemoral, the lumbar plexus, and these are the uh, diagrams showing the bit the dots represent the various. Yeah. It's a little bit not too bright here. The brain stem, the cerebellum, the cerebrum, cranial nerves. This is the arm here. So the radial, the medial, and the ulna. This one is a basal plexus. Over the next arm, what do we have? The, 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 the ilio hypogastric, the ilio ingual, the lateral cortical cutaneous, and the uh, genito femoral. And this is the lumbar plexus nerves, show the arbiter, the, the arbiter, the femoral, the muscular. The saphenous muscular, that's the saphenous here, the muscular uh, out of the, the femoral, and the sciatic, the tibial, and so on, these are not too clear there. The deep femoral, which would be there in the in the foot. It would be the lumbar plexus, and this would be the cranial here. I must sort of apologize for these diagrams not too clear, but this is the best you could have done uh, with the nervous system here, uh, with showing the peripheral nervous system, the central nervous system, the autonomic uh, nervous system, which includes the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system.